The role of CAR T cell therapy in hematologic cancers. CAR T cell therapy is a new approach to treating patients with cancer of the blood or lymph tissues that has returned or has not responded after trying several other treatments. CAR T cell therapy is a type of immunotherapy. It uses a person's own T cells to treat certain kinds of hematologic cancers. T cells are a type of white blood cell. CAR T cells are T cells that have had their genes altered, so they produce chimeric antigen receptors, or CARs, on their surface. A chimera is a mythical creature made up of parts from different animals. A chimeric antigen receptor is a special receptor made up of different segments that scientists generate in a laboratory. This lets them design a receptor to fit any protein, so the T cells can locate and bind to a target protein found on the surface of a specific kind of cancer cell. Binding triggers an immune response that destroys the cancer cells. Since CAR T cell therapy is a personalized treatment, the first step is to collect a patient's T cells in a process known as leukapheresis. The patient's blood is drawn, the T cells are separated, and the rest of the blood is returned to the patient. The T cells are then sent to a special manufacturing facility. There, the cells are reprogrammed to produce CARs. These CAR T cells are then multiplied in an incubator to produce enough cells for treatment. The cells are frozen and shipped to a medical center that has been specially trained and certified as a CAR T treatment center. Patients should plan to stay near the treatment center if it isn't close to home. Before receiving the CAR T cells, a patient is given lymphodepleting chemotherapy. This is a short course of chemotherapy to get rid of the other T cells in the body and improve the effects of the CAR T cells. Two to four weeks after leukapheresis, the patient receives the CAR T cells through an IV. Once in the body, the reprogrammed T cells can now locate and bind to the cancer cells to destroy them. The CAR T cells then remain in the body for a period of months to continue to watch for any new cancer cells. As with any cancer treatment, CAR T cell therapies can cause side effects. In addition to those seen with other immunotherapies, such as GI symptoms, loss of appetite, fatigue, and flu-like symptoms, CAR T cell therapies have other potential side effects, which can be severe or life-threatening. CAR T cells trigger the production of a large number of cytokines, molecules that help immune cells communicate. This can lead to cytokine release syndrome, or CRS, an overactive immune system response that can cause high fever and flu-like symptoms. While this can be fatal, there are drugs that can control this response. CAR T cell therapy can also cause neurological effects, including speech problems, altered mental states, problems with thought processes, loss of muscle strength, seizures, and swelling of the brain. And since the CAR T cells can latch onto any cell with the target protein, some healthy cells are destroyed as well. This can cause a prolonged reduction in white blood cells, which can lead to fever and infections. Patients are typically asked to remain close to their treatment center for a few weeks so they can be monitored by their health care team. It is also critical to have one or more caregivers with you during this time to watch for any side effects. Cancer care is also available at any point to offer assistance with financial, practical, and emotional needs. If you have a hematologic cancer that has returned or hasn't responded to other therapies, ask your doctor if CAR T cell therapy could be considered for you. A message from Cancer Care. Learn more at www.cancercare.org. Cancer Care provides free resource navigation, individual counseling and support groups over the phone, virtually, and in person with oncology social workers and resource navigators who specialize in helping people affected by cancer. To talk with one of our social workers, call 1-800-813-HOPE. That's 1-800-813-4673. Our social workers can help you navigate the emotional, practical, and financial challenges of cancer.
The information presented in this video is provided for your information only. It is not intended as a substitute for medical advice. We encourage you to take information and questions to your healthcare provider.